What is up everybody? It's Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And as you can see, I am in a beautiful new location. I had to go for a little walk this morning, and this is a video I've been planning on making for weeks now, and because of some events that happened, I'm like, you know what, Chris? It's time to make this, right? So I'm at beautiful Red Rock Canyon here in Las Vegas to kind of go for a walk, simmer, make a calm collected video, if you will. All right, and yeah, there's gonna be some changes to the channel. I'm not going anywhere, so calm down, all right? But there's gonna be some shifts in the way I do this thing. And yeah, like, I have to discuss why I'm choosing to leave this drama community. Now, those of you who follow my channel and you know what I'm trying to do here, I typically pull in drama topics to try to teach people about their own mental health, right? And somebody asked me not that long ago, like, Chris, how are you not a drama channel? What separates you from drama channels? And for me, that answer is simple. And some of you get that, some people don't. But when I watch a drama channel, it's just drama. That's all it is, it's just drama, maybe a little bit of an opinion, if you're lucky, right? But what I try to do is I try to take that, give you some context, and then have you look at your own life and see, okay, can I relate to anything in this video that might be affecting me, right? And I wanna make it very clear from the start, like I, I look at drama channels and commentary channels very differently. Like my buddy iNabber, um, I look at him as a commentary channel. Drama channels, what I see is them, I, I kind of classify them and everybody has their own different perspective, but I look at a lot of stuff like, if they're talking about beauty influencers a lot, typically I, I classify that as a drama channel, right? But anyways, here's a little backstory of how I got involved in this community in the first place. I made hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos and they weren't really getting any views. I wanted to get this message out there to teach people about mental health, the importance of mental health, raise awareness, all sorts of things. And my message really wasn't going out there. And then my beautiful girlfriend Tristan and her friend Shelby, they are heavily involved in like all the makeup, gurus and like the gossip and drama that goes around it and they were showing me videos and I'm like oh my god like this is there's a lot of problems and no solutions being talked about right so I decided to try something right I was like okay maybe I could take these topics and just help somebody you know who might be able to relate to the people who are being discussed in these stories right because I remember I remember back in my active addiction I was the type of guy where I would watch intervention, right? I would watch intervention while drunk and high and think about how messed up those people were. You know what I mean? And I, I know that a lot of people watch reality TV or even YouTube or whatever, and they think about how messed up everybody is on the opposite side of that screen without self-reflecting. So I was like, okay, let me try doing this. So like when I first started doing it, I think it was right when like Dramageddon was happening and I was talking about a lot of stuff going on in there and relationships and everything. I'm like, huh, this is kind of working. And then I started broadening out. And you know, I did you know the Shane Dawson series with Jake Paul, a lot of you found me through that. And then I kind of like, okay, so this is how you do it. People don't wanna talk about mental health, so this is how you do it. But again, like, it, it's surprising but not surprising. Like, I've pulled in the drama community. Like, that is the, the market, if you will, of people who I was grabbing the attention from. And what I've found is that I've reached as many people as I'm gonna reach, you know, uh, in that community. And now it's time to move on and broaden this thing, you know? But there's so much toxicity and I get it. I've talked to you guys all about like negative bias. And like, if you watch the video I did on the YouTube Rewind, when you focus on the negative or even like selective attention theory, like when you focus on that stuff, your brain is trained to do it, right? And it bumps me out. Like I made a video earlier this morning um, about a conversation I had with Carly Steele and how I have trust issues and all of that. And you know, there's, <laughs> there's probably gonna be some videos coming out and like, that's one of the many reasons why I'm not, I, I don't want anything to do with the drama community anymore. But a lot of you know what happened with Trisha Paytas. And Trisha Paytas put drug addicts in a very negative light, okay? We have tens of thousands of people each year dying from drug addiction. That was me as well. And part of my channel is to bring awareness, advocate, and stuff like that. So seeing as how I was, kind of involved with that community, I met some friends and things like that. Like, I was like, okay, how about instead of just talking about like what James Charles said or what Jeffree Star did or what, you know, whoever else did, 
Here, here is a, a YouTuber with millions of subscribers talking about drug addicts or just drug addicts, right? Putting this negative light on drug addicts. Here's a topic that I think you could talk about to help raise awareness about the addiction stigma and the mental health stigma as a whole. And, and now, I don't know how, well, I do know how because that's what they do. The perception is being that I was trying to quote unquote capitalize on that situation. So that's another thing is when you're training your brain to focus on the negative and trying to expose people left and right, you don't even see, it's hard to even see the bigger picture. Like it's hard to even sit back and say, wait a second, maybe this guy's trying to bring awareness to a very serious situation that's plaguing our world right now. World right now. No, that's not what it is, right? So I was being, you know, tagged on Twitter this morning and all that, but that's that's just the long and short of it. But anyways, and yeah, so part of my mental health and what I have to do is I have to set up boundaries. And, you know, what I realized was not only are, you know, did I, do I have these drama channels starting to stir up stuff, but they all have a community too who's looking for that, right? And if you wanna stay in the drama community, by all means, do your thing, right? But what I have found, especially throughout my life, is that I have to separate myself from those people. But I see, I've had even, you know, just subscribers of my channel who have talked to me at length and I've talked to them and helped them out and, you know, given them advice and tips and resources to go see a therapist or whatever. And now, because, you know, they came from the drama community, they're trying to capitalize on this stuff, right? Like, oh, I'm gonna make a video about Chris and all this, and I'm like, oh my God. But again, it's not surprising. That is the audience that I pulled from. You know what I mean? So this morning on Twitter, I started blocking a bunch of people and stuff like that. And like, that's a boundary that I have to set. Like, call me petty if you want, all right? But I have to set boundaries today like you guys like some people don't understand my mental health is my number one priority all right and my mental health leads to my sobriety which almost killed me and if I don't keep this thing on straight my son doesn't have a father Tristan doesn't have a boyfriend my mom doesn't have a son my friends don't have a friend you know what I mean so I I have to set up a boundary and get away from that so basically what I wanted to say was no, I'm not leaving YouTube, and I'm not even saying that I'm not gonna talk about YouTube-related topics anymore, but there's gonna be shift, uh, shift in my channel. Some of you have already seen it this last week or two. So what I'm gonna try to do is what I originally wanted to do on YouTube was talk about TV shows and how they depict mental health, mental illness. Same thing with movies. I wanna do more song reviews because there's a lot of songs that talk about mental health and addiction and all of that. Something I'm trying to figure out is how to not have have them copyright claimed or even copyright striked. So that's one of the reasons I stayed away from them. Um, but yeah, I wanna talk about what's going on in the news. I wanna talk about what's going on with the mental health care system, all of these other things. You know what I mean? Like those are the things that I wanna talk about. Now, when I feel that there is a situation in which, you know, um, something in that community, like, people might be able to benefit from, maybe, maybe. But as a general rule of thumb, if you see all of the drama channels talking about something, I'm probably gonna stay away from that like it's the plague, all right? And trust me, I get it. A lot of you found my channel for drama-based stuff. And like, I might lose thousands upon thousands upon thousands of subscribers, but I always talk to you guys about what your values are, your value systems and everything like that. And, and that's the thing. Like, that's okay with me because I want the people to stay who care about improving their mental health, who care about advocacy, who care about spreading awareness and all of that. So if you came here just to get a different spin on the drama or the tea or whatever, like, I'm sorry, but this channel is gonna be refocused. And like, this is something that I've been working on and thank God for, you know, my support group. Like I mentioned in my video with Carly Steele, there are people who, I'm no longer going to be talking to as well. Like, I don't know, it just sucks. But anyways, like, yeah, I am focusing on my mental health and part of that journey is helping all of you with the things that I learn, the things that I educate myself about and all of that. So if you're into that, stay tuned. If you're not, 
thanks for hanging around for a while, you know what I mean? And the last thing I will say, I don't mean to make a blanket statement, but it's just how the mind works where we focus on the negative. And you know, I, I love commentary channels, but I've had to unsubscribe from a lot of drama channels just to kind of cleanse myself, if you will. So people like iNabber, who I love, you know, even like Leon Lush and Elvis the Alien, I'm Alex, and people who are like, you know, being funny and just like talking about things and talking about Instagram and things like that. Like mental health to me is supposed to be kind of funny and kind of laid back because I want to make it more of a conversation. But yeah, anyways, like, it's really pretty out here. <laughs> so that's all I got for this video. Thanks to all the patrons. Thanks for everybody who's been supporting the channel, knows what I'm all about and what I'm here for. And I'll see you soon.